On this episode, I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how you can strip off this sheathing from this Romex cable, or you can also call it non-metallic cable. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So just a quick disclaimer, we are going to be working with electrical components on today's episode. My electrical codes and your electrical codes might be different, so always make sure that you're always current and up-to-date with your current electrical codes. Make sure you have the proper permits and make sure that you turn off the power from your circuit breaker. If you're unconfident and unsure about working with any type of electrical, please hire a certified and qualified professional. With that being said, my full disclaimer is in the description down below. Let's get into today's episode. So you're probably saying, Jay, this is one of the easiest tasks to do. All you have to do is cut off the sheathing, take it out, you're done, no brainer. But friends, you have to look inside what's inside the sheathing. Inside it are copper wire that's pretty much insulated insulation of plastic. It's very fragile if you do it incorrectly. And that's why if you don't pay attention in how you handle your cutting, you can easily damage those wires. That's why in this episode, I wanna show you different types of techniques and how to carefully do it the correct way so that you don't end up cutting off any type of insulation off these wires. So with that being said, let me show you method number one, which is far probably the easiest and the most common way that we do it. So if you're not yet familiar with the code, you have to leave at least a quarter inch of sheathing past the clamp of where it enters through the box, leave at least six inches of wire, and past the box, leave three inches of length of cable. Let's get to first method number one, which is just using your box knife, utility knife, or whatsoever. So one of the ways that a lot of people do it is pretty much just cutting it through straight down the middle. Sometimes you're gonna end up cutting so hard into the sheathing that you probably end up cutting one of this um, insulated wire inside. That's why you have to be really careful on where you're trying to cut. Now as a beginner, um, you don't wanna press too hard or too aggressive onto when you're starting to slice this open. You cut this, you just wanna apply a very small amount of pressure. Now, depending on how sharp your box knife is, this is a brand new blade. That's why you don't need to really push down really hard on it. All you gotta do is pretty much score the top of the plastic sheathing. So even if you don't cut it all the way, this plastic pretty much runs. So if you apply enough pressure, it pretty much comes off just like that. Once again, before you even start doing any of this, I highly suggest that you get one of these uh, voltage testers, just like what you see here. Turn off the power from your circuit breaker, test this out on the live wire, make sure that it's actually working and that you have full battery before you try it onto one of these active wires. All the tools that I use in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below. This extends one inch. Um, you can cut a little bit more or you can push this a little bit back in and wiggle it back into the entrance so that you can have that quarter inch compliance per code. Let's get to method number two and you're still gonna be using your utility knife. Now, this one is fairly easy and it doesn't require cutting and slicing all the way through. What you're gonna do since this sheathing is made out of plastic and it's very, um, very easy to tear and run right when you cut it, some people will actually just slice the tip of this sheathing carefully. Again, you don't wanna to apply too much pressure and then they open it up just like so. And to be safe, you know, instead of risking of cutting everything down with one slice or whatnot, just cut the tip just like that. I cut about an inch and a half. And then once you're done with that, you can just easily peel this back like a banana. And if you do get it put in a bind and it start, you know, you can't get any more th further through, even though you're trying, you can just lightly just cut this with a sharp box knife and see how easily you can cut it like that. And then you can continue on through the run, just like so. Take your box knife and cut in a downwards direction so you don't risk on cutting any of the wires. So method number three is one of my favorite methods on stripping wire and super easy to do as well if you have it. And it's by using this cable stripper. This one is by Southwire and it has a lock mechanism right there. Once you unlock it, it is loaded 
with a spring on the handle, which make it super easy and ergonomically easy to use. And you can strip two types of cable, which is 14 gauge cable and 12 gauge cable. And it also has a wire stripper for 14 gauge and 12 gauge. And you also have little cutters right here where you can put through the wires and you can cut it easily. And you can pretty much cut off the whole cable by inserting it through there. It also acts as good lineman's pliers right there, which makes it easier for you to pull wire, push wire, and twist wire. So there are many advantages in how you can use this. And you can also use this little hole right here to loop shepherd's hook at the end of each wire. Very useful tool to have if you have it. If you're interested on this product, I'll leave it in the description down below. Check out that link. Since this is a 12 gauge wire, we are gonna be using the 12 gauge option right there. Which is, which is pretty much going to fall just like this, okay? And all you have to do is pretty much grasp it like that and just, boom, squeeze and let go. That's pretty much it. When you're done, all you have to do now is just pull. And look how easily that slides off, just like that. And it already does all the depth for you. It doesn't cut further down, making it safe for the, the wires to not get nicked or cut. So when that's done, you can take the stripping right here and you can just tear it off or use your utility knife, which I don't, you know, you don't really need. Take your cable and shove it back whatever you don't use. And if you look closely to it, you can see that it's clean. It's pretty much a clean cut compared to the other two methods that I showed you when you're cutting it just you know, you have all these frayed out sheathing. This one looks professional and pretty much clean all the way around. Now let's test this on 14 gauge cable. Just squeeze, boom, let go. And as easy as that, just pull and slide off. So again, this is one awesome tool to have again on your toolbox if you don't wanna keep using the utility knife. Obviously, if you're doing a bunch of this type of work, and you don't want to just keep slicing and you know doing that this is an easy fast and it does it in seconds and yeah if you're interested on this i'll leave it in the description down below method number four is quite similar to method number three and you are going to be using your utility knife or box knife once again so this might take a little bit of skill because you're going to be cutting on the top and then you're going to be score cutting on the bottom as well maybe you can get away with just cutting at the top and then pulling but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and find the quarter inch exposure and you're just gonna cut right here. You're just gonna slice very carefully. Now having a, a nice sharp knife will make this job super easy and you won't be struggling to cut that off, okay? So you're just gonna pretty much cut the top like so. And then with the same knife, you're gonna follow on the same area of where you cut the top slice a little bit on the bottom and then you're just going to pull the sheathing off like so see that okay so last and final method that i have to show you for today is method number five which is using the nm cable ripper this is a pretty cool and simple tool if you look right on the inside there is a tooth that is right in the middle and it's also a little hollow core where you insert the cable through here and you pretty much is gonna you're gonna insert it through right through like this when you squeeze it right through this will penetrate right through that sheathing and then you can pull it all the way back now one thing that i kind of don't like about this is that let me show you an example right here this is just a piece of sheathing let me just show you what's going on when you press right here right there when you squeeze it right through you don't know where that tooth is going to land on and it could possibly land and hit one of these insulated wire inside it's pretty much just a hit and miss because if you over squeeze this you can possibly damage one of the insulated wires in there even though that it is effective if it's properly used close it apply some pressure and then it's going to take a little bit of muscle while you're squeezing you're going to be pulling at the same time and just like that, you're pulling, boom. And the damage is either gonna be on the bottom or depending on where you put it, on the top, 
and that's where the cut is made use this to gauge the type of wire that you're using. So friends, those are my five methods and how you can strip off the sheathing of these non-metallic cables or Romex cables. Let me know in the comment section below which method that you use the most and which you like the best. But let me know in the comment section down below as well which method you dislike and which one you least prefer. If you found this video helpful friends, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you friends on the next episode.